Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in uh, algorithms. So that is amortized analysis. So in our previous sessions, we have seen how to find out the time complexity of any kind of algorithm as well as the asymptotic notations that is a big O, big theta and big omega notations which will give the uh, worst case, best case and the average case complexities. And coming to this amortized analysis, this is mainly used to analyze the average performance of the algorithm for a set of operations. Okay, so it is basically to find out the average time complexity. Okay, so that is also for a set of operations. So I write here, it is used to analyze average performance of of an algorithm this is most important next for a set of operations for a set of operations so that means it will calculate the average cost for all the set of operations so calculates average cost of all operations so for example for example if an algorithm consists of a, uh, some uh, 10 instructions okay or 10 operations if some operations gives the worst case and some operations gives the best case and we need to average the cost of all the operations so that will give the amortized analysis for example okay for example so let us take a, a person who runs a family and if he names an amount, uh, I mean the monthly expenses, what is the monthly expenses and uh, how much amount he requires to uh, run a family. Okay. So for example, in January, the monthly expenses, so I write here monthly expenses. So the monthly expenses are some 10,000 rupees and in the month of February, let it be some 8,000 rupees. In the month of March, let it be some 6,000 rupees. So according to this statements, okay, according to this content, how much a family, I mean a man can run a family with the amount, right? So obviously we will say, it will be 10,000 that will be the worst case that will be the worst case so here the amortized analysis means averaging the cost of each and every operation so you can average all these things so what is the average of all these things so 10,000 plus 8,000 plus 6,000 divided by 3 because we are calculating for the 3 months so it will be so 10, 18, 24. So 24,000 by 3, which is nothing but 8,000. So a man can have an 8,000 rupees to run a family on an average of 8,000. So in the January, he might be having a few expenses, more expenses. In the month of March, there will be a little bit of expenses, right? So this average is 8,000, which is less than the worst case. So this type of thing, we call it as amortized analysis. So the same thing we have to do for algorithm. Okay. So based upon the operation, we should not consider the highest uh, complexity. So we need to calculate the average cost of all the operations so that we can get the amortized time complexity or amortized analysis. Right now, we'll take an actual example. We'll consider one data structure array and we'll see what is the complexity, worst case complexity to insert an element into a dynamic array. And the same thing we will apply the amortized analysis and we'll compare the time complexities of both. Right? Yes. So let us 
see that one. So let us take an example as an array. See the worst case time complexity. So complexity of element insertion into an array obviously it will be some order of n right so one one element if the same thing applies for multiple elements so n elements insertion so the time complexity will be n into some order of n which will be order of n square right so this is the worst case time complexity uh, for inserting n elements into an array so this is the order of n square i write here order of n square right so this is the worst case time complexity now calculating this amortized analysis okay so that means we have to trace each and every operation and we have to find out the cost and then we have to average all the different cost see what happens so if i write here insertion element insertion and here i write the size of array size of array and here i write it as a cost okay cost so one thing we have to remember the element can be easily inserted into an array and if the array is full what we have to do we have to double the array and we have to copy all the elements into the array and then we have to insert it so the complexity or the cost will be one if array is not full or overflow we can simply say right so if it is full if it is full what we have to do so size should be double okay size should be double plus copy all elements because all the elements should be occupied in continuous memory locations plus element insertion so three things will be happen if the array is full that means we have to increase the size of an array so with the help of a different functions we know that uh in in uh, c we are having some dynamic memory allocations so we can increase the memory and in java we can use a new keyword to increase the size so like that whatever it may be so we have to increase we have to double the size of the array and next step we have to copy all the elements because every element should be in the continuous memory location and then only we have to insert the element so this happens see i'll write here don't get confused and it will be one if array is not full this should be happens if array is full that means overflow if array is full size should be doubled that is the first one copy all the elements that the second one elements insertion will be the next one now so what happens if you are inserting one element and if the array size is 1 okay so if the array size is 1 so simply we can insert and the cost will be 1 and if you want to insert two the array size is 1 there is no uh, uh, empty i mean the array is full now it should be double double means two so here it is 1 and here it is 2 so then insertion of copy the element first we need to copy the element so one plus how many element so sorry the first thing is double the size so now the size of array 2 next copy all the elements one element will be copied and element of insertion one 
So the cost will be this one. And coming to the third, insertion of the third one. So there is a blank. Okay, so the array is not full because, sorry, sorry. Yes, so array is full. So array is full means third element can't be inserted into the size of array 2. So then that should be increased. So 1, 2 and size should be increased. Size should be double. So 2, now it should be 4. Copy all the elements. How many elements? 2 elements. 2 elements should be copied plus element to be inserted. 1. So here it is. Coming to the 4. Element 4. So here the array is not full. So obviously we can simply insert the element. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So the cost is 1. The insertion of element. If array is not full, the cost is 1. Okay. And then fifth element. So there is no free space. So the array is completely full. What we have to do? Size should be doubled. So now the size of array will be 8. Right. So size should be doubled. So it will be 8 plus copy all the elements. How many elements? 4 elements. 4 elements will be copied. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1 element should be inserted. 1 so 5 okay and then for 6 7 and 8 you can observe the array is not full so obviously 6 7 and 8 the cost will be 1 1 1 right because full and if if it is again ninth element ninth element the cost will be how much so the array is full so it will be 16 first size should be double 16 plus copy all the elements 8 elements should be copied and press 1 so if you want to insert the 9 elements so that will be the cost so like this we have to analyze each and every step and what we have to do next we have to average the cost of all the operations so this will be the first operation second operation third four five six seven okay so different operations all are the different operations so we have to apply uh, the same thing for m elements and we have to take the average because of this m motized analysis this is the average performance of an algorithm now let us consider so we have find the cost of all the operations and this will be keeps on moving right so i have to average so average 1 plus let us take 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus you can apply 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so like this and so on it will be like it will be keeps on moving and divided by n because we have to average so these are all the cost of n operations so you can observe we can replace this with okay we can replace this with so 1 plus, 2 plus, 4 plus, 8 plus and so on and similarly plus, plus, see 1, 2, 4, 8, again 1, 2, 4 and so on and again we will get 8 here, right. So again 1 plus, 2 plus, 4 plus, 8 plus and so on, plus finally we will get all 1s, right and so on plus we will get all ones or ones divided by n so this also keeps on moving okay so we will get only these time these type of iterations so we will get 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 again 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 again 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 again so on all ones we can write like this so we know the complexity for this particular uh, series okay see if you want to get like this simply you can analyze i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i is equal to i into 2 so we have already seen such kind of time complexity so which will be incremented with a 2 2 times so that we call it as a log n base 2 so simply we can replace this with 
log n base 2 and this is also log n base 2 and this is total n terms so n times 1 will be added so n terms so what we can write here order of log n base 2 plus order of log n base 2 plus n divided by n so what happens here 2 log n base 2 so this becomes 2 log n base 2 plus n divided by 2 sorry divided by n so you can see we have to consider the highest degree so among log n and n which will be having the highest degree if we, if we are having some function and we are trying to calculate the time complexity we have to find out the highest degree so what is the highest degree in this equation so n according to the growth rate so just uh, um, visit our previous sessions so that you will be understanding how we got this log n and how we are selecting this n right so finding calculating the time complexities and the growth rate so these two sessions you just go through so that you will be getting a clarity about that one so i'll share the complete playlist in the description box okay right so we have to consider this one and this will becomes and this will becomes order of n divided by n which is nothing but order of one see order of one so the same problem what's the worst case time complexity is the order of n square and if you are using this amortized analysis particularly the aggregate method so this amortized analysis is also having a different methods right so counting method uh, then uh, aggregate method potential method right so this is an aggregate method so here we have to calculate the cost of each and every operation and then we have to perform the average so that we will get the amortized time complexity which we call it as an average performance of an algorithm over a set of operations that is the most important okay so order of n and this is order of 1 this is amortized time complexity amortized time complexity and this is a worst case time complexity worst case time complexity right so there you can find the difference so worst case time complexity of order of n square and where amortized time complexity will be the order of n inserting an element into an dynamic array so so this problem is for inserting an element into a dynamic array so previously we are having some order of n squares so in our previous uh, example we have seen so if a person needs uh, some monthly expenses to run a family so how much he requires to run a family on an average we have uh, we have find out uh, i mean we have calculated that average so the same process we have to do the here and that we call it as a amortized analysis the average performance of an algorithm over a set of operations right so let's stop here and uh, hope you understood this uh, what is meant by amortized analysis and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i'll try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much